Alrighty, so we brought our uh, quantum link over to this uh, power generation area, and that is so that we can get started with uh, nuclear reactors from Mechanism, these guys up here. But in order to get them up and running, we need to make the fuel for it. And I believe to do that, we need to set up these massive thermal evaporation blocks. So we put water in, they, I guess, generate heat with these uh, advanced solar panels, and it turns the water into brine, uh, an interesting liquid. <laughs> we get this liquid to go through here into this secondary one, which is a pain to make, uh, and then that turns it into liquid lithium. And, well, liquid lithium is no good, so we got to put them in these condensentrators. <laughs> it's a hard word to say, and we get some lithium. And then, hopefully, we can power a reactor of some sort. Hello everyone, and welcome back to MC Eternal. We are in the single player world, and this episode, we're going to try and make our way towards a mechanism reactor. So, uh, the blocks we want are these, I think, right? We want reactor controllers, some frames, and like a port and whatnot. Um, the thing is, I'm pretty sure to actually run the reactor and get it started, we actually need a whole bunch of other things. Uh, so that's where these uh, evaporation blocks come into play. Uh, we'll need some solar generators, rotary co condensator, and a sol and some solar neutron activators. So, sounds a bit crazy. Um, some of these recipes are, you know, they ask for a bit more than others. I think we can handle it though. So, I'll be back, and I think we'll get started with, um, I think it's the thermal evaporation blocks. Well, I think we want to make these first. So, I'll be back with that plan. Alright, so for, first and foremost, sorry, sorry for yelling there, um, I want to build it over here, right? In this nice little area, just over here. So we'll probably do it like, I don't know, over in that direction. Uh, but we need to bring our network over, our network that's currently chilling over there. So, I think we'll use the singularities. We had some in our backpack, I believe they came from this little slot here. Um, and yeah, we, we got to bring those over. Now, um, if we search quantum, mm, we don't have these made. We're meant to be able to craft, what, we need 8, and then we need another 8, so we need 16 of these bad boys. Let's see, let's see if we can craft it, if it works. Um, but basically, we chuck down an anvil, and because these are called link 2, I think we want link 3. So we'll put them in here, and we'll write link 3. And now these two should be linked together, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Um... Okay, here's where all the crafting is taking place, so we can have a little spy on it, and I'll be back once that's made. Alright, so as you can see, it's, I guess, broken, because it's not crafting it for whatever reason, so I guess, um, I'll be back to figure that out. You know what it says? It says it's got two seconds left, right? Clearly it doesn't. Okay. Now, when we paste in the recipe, as you can see, the cells are what are missing, um, these dense uh, energy cells. But, as you can see, we have a bunch made. Um, and I think that's from previous failed attempts, because it doesn't seem to like crafting with the energy cells, and I think it's because uh, they act a bit differently than, I guess, the ones in JEI, or, or whatever this is. Not enough items, JEI? JEI. Just enough items. Um, so we'll grab our 16, and then we'll set this up. Should be pretty easy. Alright, now what I actually want is... Oh, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> um, but I would very much like to have uh, one of these uh, links on top of each door. So I kind of want to move the door over. So let me figure out how to do that. All right, so we'll need one of these guys to link the rifts, so that's fine. And I also grabbed one of our rift removers that we had. Uh, and then we'll just need some doors. So I'll make some, two of these wooden doors and we should be good. Now I believe all we've got to do is chainsaw down, we can get rid of the sign. We can chainsaw down the door, if that works. And then a rift should start growing. Yeah, there it is. And we actually want to remove this. So we're going to place this, or right click, and see if we can't remove it. Um, I think it said the rift's closing, and it doesn't look like it's expanding anymore. So I think these particles will disappear, and then we'll be good. And now just to make sure, whoop, we're going to lag apparently, but I'm going to head over this direction, to this other door. And I think we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to right click here. Oh, there it is. So right click there, and it says the rift will close soon at the bottom. So that's fine. Perfect. <laughs> we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Now comes the question of what kind of gap do we want in between these uh, quantum rings. I think we'll go for a one gap, and we'll put like a, a dense cable here, a yeah, dense smart cable. So I think we'll do something that looks a little bit like this. Craft that like there, 
Um, I didn't bring the other quantum blocks with me, so if I search quantum, we can grab that real quick. Place this in the middle to complete the structure. Beautiful. And then we will place our door here. And that consists of, well, I think we actually want to place the, the concrete first. So let's go ahead and do that so that we don't have to pick up the door later. Right click once here with this rift signature. Head over to where we want our other door, which is right over here. Right click there. A new rift appears. We place our door. Now we can actually head through the door and we pop up over here. But then what we want to do is place the door like so. And that should be perfect. We should be able to now go back and forth. Um, and on this side, all we want to do is close the gap. And then I'll be back with the rest of the quantum stuff. Oh, do you know what I just realized? So I wasn't able to place concrete and I was a bit confused. I thought I was lagging or something. But if you have a look, I only have one concrete left. And instead of placing it, it keeps it as like a little placeholder. So that's pretty cool. Luckily, we had a bunch made, so I'm actually going to take out a lot of this, um, as much as I can, I guess. And I'll ask for another thousand to be auto-crafted. Sure, why not? <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so I had to craft some uh, dense smart cables. Luckily, we have that automated. Uh, we're going to place one here, and that should connect. Ooh, you can see it's lit up. That's perfect. Um, I think we can get away with placing um, our links inside. So what we do is we open the middle block, we place in one of the links, then, well, I was going to fly over, but we can actually just teleport through here. Um, next, I want to set up... Ooh, how am I going to do this? Uh, do I build a wall and place it on the wall above here? Uh, yeah, I reckon we can. Um, I could also just place it along the side. I think this might look a little bit nicer. Or just look a little bit different, I guess. Um, so we can go ahead and just do something like this. There we go. Placing our other link. Now, this needs a jolt of energy to get started. Um, so, what we can do is we can get, ooh, an energy acceptor and an energy salad. And that's exactly what we need. Um, so, we can place the acceptor and the cell. Or do we do it the... Oh, no. Yep. That was the way we do it, apparently. Give it a second. The link's in. Um, okay. Let's see if we can get a wireless access point. Um, one of these guys. We can. Okay. That's good. Um, I think I have some normal smart cables as well. So we'll bring some of these. Let's see if this will work. So, oops, smart cable there. And an access point there. And then can we access our whole inventory? Mm, it's saying it. Oh, it's there for a second. You know what? I'll be back. I'll try and figure this out. Alright. So I switched these around and we're still not getting anything. Um, so I'm thinking it could be that these don't work for whatever reason, so I might go ahead and, uh, try and make some more. Alrighty, so we're gonna need some ender pearl dust, so hopefully this makes it. And we can craft this ender pearl powder into ender pearl dust, so that's why we're making this. So we open up our crafting, put in the dust, and there we go. Now we can head out here, and drop the singularity, the dust, place a TNT. Oh, I just placed it in the ones, but I'm not meant to. Place the TNT, light the TNT, and we should get a singularity. Or a pair of singularities. Quantum entangled singularities. So here we go. We take these. Now, I believe these are linked. So we might not have to name them. Let's see. We'll place one in here. We'll head through. And we'll place the other one in here. Okay. They're turned off. Now, is it going to turn back on? <laughs> Device missing channel. You know what? It's it's working. There we go. Perfect. We can start building the thing now. Alrighty. So, from my understanding, we need a lot of this stuff. So, I'm going to craft as much as I can, which is probably going to be that much, I guess. Um, we're going to need two of these controllers. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to craft whatever those things are. Um, advanced control circuits. Advanced... Control circuits. Now, luckily, we can auto craft them. So, uh, I think we need four of these, two per, and two of these. So, these require two, so that's four. These require one. So, we need eight of these? Maybe, if my calculations are correct. Uh, I don't know how long that will take to craft. So, we can actually start building our thing. Some of them are finished now. Um, let's head over here. Um, where do we want to do this? I think here will be all right. Um, eh, I was, I'm trying to decide whether I build it in the ground or above the ground. 
Um, basically, what we do is we get a... Is it a 3x3? Three three? Oh, no, I don't remember. Okay, I'm going to have to do some checks. Okay, so it's actually a 4x4. Four four, so we were close. <laughs> so you want to have it a 4x4 four four platform. And then what I was told is you want to make this be 7 blocks tall. And what we do as well is... Oh, let's hover. Is you keep the middle part hollow. Uh, because it's like a fluid tank. It'll be holding a whole bunch of uh, fluids in it. So you want to have it like this. And so this is 3 tall. So you want to build this up to be 17 tall. Um, which might take me a bit, of, a bit of time. So I'll be back with that done. Okay, so that's 17 tall. And then what I should be able to do is use my builder's gadget. If I've got one of those on me. Which I don't seem to be able to find. But I should be able to use that. <laughs> Alright, so it turns out I had a building gadget on me. And I'm just blind. Um, another thing though, is I want to get some boosters, some, uh, wireless boosters for our wireless card here. So I made a whole bunch of Flux Dust. What we can do is we can slap this in here and it goes from 16 meters to 68. So hopefully we can get it from, oh, from over here. Let's give it a try. Yep. How good is that? So I can access it from here. All right. So update on the builder's gadget, invalid block. <laughs> it does not work, which is very unfortunate because this is going to take a while. And it looks like we're out. So I'm... It looks like I need just about, just under double the blocks we had, so a couple more stacks. Here we go. Oh, I just made a bunch of nuggets. Um, so it looks like we're low on steel. So what I might do is uh, request a lot more. A thousand? Do you reckon we can get away with that? Probably not, but it, let me just say, guys, this is going to be a long recording. Hopefully the video's not as long. <laughs> it's going to be a long one. Okay, I'm actually going to uh, try and help this guy out. So, let's see. Does that affect it? No. You've got to actually right-click the block down here. I think. Let's have a look. <laughs> yep, it's... uh, Yeah. It's going so fast that the steel's ending up back in the input slot. Okay. I'll be back. Alrighty. So, we now have a 17-block tall evaporation tower, right? Now, what we want to do now is put another 18th layer... But leave the corners, because on the corners, apparently we're going to put some advanced solar generators. So, um, a little bit of iron, some of these enriched alloys. Then solar generators, which are a little bit more enriched alloy. Osmium dust, energy tablet, which is, you know, just enriched alloy again. And the solar panels themselves, simple recipe again. So, we'll try and make some of those, and see how this goes. We want four of them. Well, we actually want eight, because, believe it or not, we're building another one of these towers. <laughs> So I'm going to request some of this. Um, I'm going to ask for a stack, just because, why not? And, and we'll see where we go from there. Huh. So, it did craft them, but it placed it in this interface. And for some reason, the interface isn't connected... For whatever reason. It's like these ME conduits don't actually work. Um, despite, you know, the, them being connected as if they should work. Uh, so I guess I'll just replace them with cables. Alrighty, here's our quick temporary fix. And by temporary, I mean I probably won't change it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's pick up that conduit. Place this here, place this here, and there. Is that what we need to do? I think. I think this just needs to update, maybe? You know what I just realized? All of these are full. So I think it was working, and we've just managed to fill it up. Okay, um, let's get some... We'll probably actually just put in some 64k uh, storage if we can craft some of these real quick. Which apparently we can't, so we'll just do 1k's then. And there we go, our stuff's in the system. Okay, well, I guess it's back to business. Alright, so this is quite the confusing recipe because there's a lot we need. We need 4 of these, which means we need 16 of these, which means we need 3 times 16 of these? Oh, it's, it's very confusing. Alright, so let's see if we can do this. So, we're going to need 3 times 16 of these, I think. So, we'll grab our 32. Oh, I guess 33. And we're out of glass panes, of course. So, then we'll grab 16 of these. And that should... Oh, I grabbed an extra. That's fine, though. So, 48. That should be fine. Then we need, what? 16 of these? I think. So, we'll see if we can grab... Oh, they don't stack. Okay, 1, 2, 3... Alright, so I got seven, and we're out of enriched alloys again, <laughs> of course. Um, this time we'll grab a few more. <laughs> ah, and they're coming through perfectly. Okay. I also don't remember uh, energy, how many we had. Energy tablet? Okay, we have seven. 
So boom, boom, boom. We're going for 16. That's our lucky number. Okay, we need a few more. We need two more. Okay, easy. One and two. Perfect. Okay, <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. Now we need to craft as many of these as we can. Uh, and they don't stack. That's, that's, you know, that's wonderful. Okay, there we go. I've crafted... Oh, no, we need more enriched. Oh, that, it, it's slowly coming. It's slowly on its way. Um, oh, that's it. That's it, because we made the one extra. Okay. We have all the solar generators. Now we need to make these. And we need to do that with the remaining... Uh, solar... Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. We, we got this. We got this. Look. Four. We did it. We have the... Oh. Oh. I need to make... I need to make four more. <laughs> okay, well, we'll have to repeat that later. I'll probably do... I'll probably do the entire second one of these towers off camera. Maybe. Um, oh, no. I kind of want to show you guys, because... Oh. Basically, we place them like this, right? So we do that. Then I guess we can place this one like here and like here. And we have a nice little platform at the top like that. And that's fine. That should be it, I believe. That's perfect. Uh, next, we actually need a controller. Um, so I guess we'll grab one. Um, I'll grab the second one for when we build the duplicate tower next to it. And I believe we want four of these. Um, so let's see if we can do that too. Um, that's four. Perfect. Uh, in the tutorial I saw, uh, they placed one here and one here. So they went, um, oh, stop hovering. Uh, a port there, the controller there, and then another port here. And then uh, basically the same on this side, but like mirrored, right? And so can we open this? We can. Um, and as you can see, the temperature is going up. And I believe that's because we put the power at the top. Yeah, you can see, I'm, I don't know if that's temperature or power. I don't, I don't really know. But... I think the solar panels are doing their work. Um, and now, basically, we feed water into here. That's that's my understanding, right? So, let's see if we can make a sink. We can. Perfect. Um, they used mechanism pumps, which, I mean, it's to be expected. It's a mechanism tutorials and stuff. Um, I think we're going to use this with some cyclic pipes because they're quite ruthless, these uh, fluid extraction pipes. Um, oh, actually, I think fluid lasers are even better. But we'll see how this goes. Basically, I think we do this. Yep. And then this fills up with water. And look, it makes brine as well. And it looks like we're making more water or inputting more water than we are making brine. So I think that's working perfectly. Maybe when the temperature goes up, we might need to uh, add more water though. We'll have to see. But basically, we then put this brine into an identical structure over here. <sighs> okay, well, hopefully it shouldn't take too long. All right, I made some thermal uh, evaporation blocks. How much steel do we have left? 300. I, you know what? I'm going to ask for more as well. Um, because it, it's very helpful having that much steel. Um, now, I believe they left a gap of like four or something. So, I, I don't think it matters. I think just more the merrier, right? That should be perfectly fine. So, we're going to do the exact same thing. So, a four by four, 17 blocks up. And then on the 18th level, you want to place these two bits here with the solar panels on the corners. And that's perfect. Luckily, though, since we have the tower next to us, I don't need to count out 17 blocks going up. I can just go here roughly and then find which one I need to cut off and cut it off. <laughs> Perfect. So that's another, and another, and another, another one. Another one. One more. Yep. That is another one. Oh, 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 oh. I wonder if it's faster going down. <laughs> sort of. It's not too bad. Another one. And then I didn't actually mind going down, so we might just do that again. And finally, the last bit before we put in all the sweet spots. Um, the solar panel crafting... Uh, see, I want to do it off camera because it's boring, but I also want to prove to you that I'm doing it and not just cheating them in because it is boring. You know what I mean? Um, oh, and my ears itchy. So I'll be back with some other stuff. Alrighty, so before I actually finish building this bit... Oh, walk over here. Oh, walk a bit closer. No, nope, it stopped working. Um, I'm going like, to ask for some more enriched uh, things to be crafted. Just so that... Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to ask for more just so that we don't run out of them as I'm trying to do this. So I'm just going to ask for like 300. Um, and then we'll put the other bits in. So this time around, we want to put our uh, evaporation valve here. So we'll place one here. Um, then I guess we can mirror this one too. So we'll place the controller there with the valve there. And it's 
it's on, as you can see. We can open this up, and it tells us... I don't know. Well, it actually doesn't tell us the height. Does this guy tell us the height? It does. Now, I believe this guy doesn't, because it's incomplete. We don't have the solar panels on the top. Um, notice how this guy says 18. Uh, so the 17 count, and then that 18th level with the solar panels counts too. So we're actually going to have to go build those. You can't just use any power, it seems. So if we remember, I believe we need 48 of these. So it, I guess it's not too bad that we have to do it twice. And you guys, if you're doing it at home, you know how much you need as well. Looks like we need more glass panes. Um, <laughs> it always is a pain, making glass panes. See how creative my humor is. <laughs> so here we go. 48, perfect. Next up are the 16 energy tablets. Um, you know what? I kind of lost count. Um, <laughs> let's have a look at what we're at. Energy tablet. We're at 11. Okay, perfect. So there oh, we go. We have the 16. Perfect. Now we should be able to craft all of these. So I'm just going to spam click it. Ooh, we need some more osmium dust. Ooh, we don't have the automated. All right, I'm going to quickly go and do that then. You know what? I was going to go over and do that, but I think I'll just craft a completely new pulverizer over here. If I had cobble, but I don't actually have cobble, apparently. I took a couple of stacks out of my uh, null. So there we go. We have the pistons. We have the copper gears. And I think we better not need flint. Oh, we don't need flint. Okay, boom. There we go. Perfect. Um, so let's slap this guy down right here. That should be fine. I don't really mind. Put in the osmium. And speed that up. Okay, how many more do we need? Ooh, we're so close. Um, what can I put away? I guess I'll put this stuff away. Oh, I just put them all away. Perfect. <laughs> I guess that works. Um, put in the osmium dust. Surely we're almost done. Okay, we're done. Perfect. Now we can make the solar panels, the advanced ones. Here we go. And we should have four. Perfect. Let's head up. Place these down. Try and keep it as symmetrical as we can. So do it that way. Then do it that way. Perfect. This guy should be up and running. Which it is. Uh, now I believe what they use is... um. Or, or the pipe that you want to use is a... It's from Mechanism. Oh, and we might actually have it. Um, yeah, these pressurized tubes. I think that's what we want. So let's see if we can't do something... Oh, I'm lagging a little bit, I think. Did that connect? No. Okay. Maybe not then. Okay, I think it was actually... Um, I think they just used these universal cables, which doesn't really make sense. It converts... Th these just convert power, though, doesn't it? capacity yeah hmm you know what it was it was mechanical pipes that's what we need um so can we craft any of these <laughs> it looks like you upgrade them so you start off with these ones then you go up to these advanced ones so we can do that thankfully then can we do elite we might have to craft them yep so let's um we'll ask for a few of these we might have to ask for the better ones as well um these red ones i, I guess not right and here we go. We've got some... What are they? Elite. Hopefully Elite's good enough. Uh, I, I would assume so. Now, I believe what you do as well is you right-click here. Oh, you, you might need a mechanism um, wrench of some sort. Ooh, I don't think I have one on me. Um, what's a mechanism wrench? Uh, hmm. We're going to have to check in our inventory. Ooh, you know what it is? It's the configurator. I just had, it, I had like an epiphany. Um... The configurator. What does it look like? What does it look like? Uh, configurator? It's it's this guy, right? Looks like a sonic screwdriver. Uh, I know for a fact I have one. Um, it might even be on this screen, but for whatever reason, I can't see it. So it looks like we're going to have to make another one, um, despite our system turning off. Luckily, it's not too bad of a recipe. Make one of those. Make one of these. Um, it charges up in my inventory perfectly. Then we come over here, and I believe we right-click this. No. Maybe we shift right-click? Yep. And so we want this one to pull. And so now, as you can see, this this uh, pipe fills up. And inside here, it's now making liquid lithium. Perfect. Okay, we're actually we're on our way. We're on our way. So I think... Hmm. Is this enough for one episode? Hmm. Maybe. I mean, it looks pretty cool. So it, can't, it almost is. We could do one more step. We could turn the liquid lithium into lithium. How's that sound? And to do that, we use the rotary condensators. Condensators. <laughs> yeah, this it doesn't look too bad to make. All right, so um, I think we want three of these. So we'll try and get three tanks. Um, I'll see if I can keep these in my inventory because I don't think they'll have fun auto filling. 
Um, we'll get three fluid tanks as well. So three of these, perfect. So far, so good. It actually doesn't seem like that bad of a recipe. Um, we'll want three of these. So we'll do... Oh, they're going to charge me. Oh, yes, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, and then... Can we just craft it? It looks like we can. That's one. Yeah, it's looking like it's pretty good. And there we go. Two. And... The third one. Perfect. That, that went surprisingly well. Um, so next up, we want to place these... Um, Hmm, how do we want to do this? We can sort of try and make it look a little bit nice. We can do something like that. How's that look? Oh, they have s certain ways they got to face, it seems. Um, so would I instead want to place them like this? And then they have this, I guess, output and input? Hmm. I'm guessing that's what it is. So maybe, how do we want to do this? You know what? Let's place them here. I reckon that'll work. Then we can get our pipes. See if they connect. Um, it doesn't look like they are. Do they connect on this side, maybe? Oh, they do. Okay. <laughs> it looks like we want to spin them around. Uh, okay. So I just hit the top a few times. Perfect. Nice. So, once again, we want to come over here. And we want to configure this. Oh, we don't, we don't want to do that. We want to do... Oh, interesting. It's like it doesn't want to uh, work how it did previously. Okay, so it looks like that's what I'm meant to do still. It just doesn't seem to be wanting to do it. So I'm not too sure what the go is there. Oh, and now nothing seems to be working. Huh. I don't know. I'm very confused. As you might be able to tell. Ooh, look at this. If I hold shift and uh, scroll, it changes its mode. So I think we want it on wrench mode. No. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, ooh, okay. There we go. Um, I put it onto energy mode. Um, I think it's just configure mode. I don't think it particularly matters what, um, what mode I was on. Okay. So, it looks like it's almost working. Um, toggle operation? There we go. Decondensing <laughs> Decondensing trading. So, I believe it's turning. Yeah, liquid lithium into lithium. Perfect. So, I just click this bot button in the top left to toggle the operation. And it's working. We're getting lithium. So, I think that is where we'll wrap this up. This will be like a, a part one, I guess. Um, so, oh, they, these look beautiful. They're very, very big. Um, and I like that the sink sort of matches the color. It's, it doesn't look too, um, I guess, big. Um, I think we might be able to do something like this as well, if we wanted to. We could do something like that. And does that work? Yeah, that works. I reckon that doesn't look too bad either. Kind of fits with the theme, and you get to see the water, which I always love mods that let you see the, uh, like, liquids and stuff and items. So that's very cool. This seems like it's working. Um, it might need to go a bit faster, but once again, it looks like it heats up slowly over time, so it might just go faster as we go. Um, this looks like it's working. Um, we need to actually attach power, so we can probably do that now. Um, and then we might do a, a recap. So, let's see. Do I have flux points, or did I put them away somewhere? Oh, of course I did. Let me grab the flux points. We're going to place, um, one... Mm. We're actually going to place it up here. <laughs> Uh, just so that we can have all the things. Uh, so put it on our power distribution network. That should work fine. See if we have some energy conduits. We definitely do. And do something like that. And there we go. They're back up and, back up and running. Perfect. I, I'm a big fan of this. Uh, so just in case... Uh, you, you know what? You know what? No. We're going to do the recap. <laughs> we're going to stick to my plan. Alrighty. So we brought our uh, quantum link over to this uh, power generation area. And that is so that we can get started with uh, nuclear reactors from Mechanism. These guys up here. But in order to get them up and running, we need to make the fuel for it. And I believe to do that, we need to set up these massive thermal evaporation blocks. So we put water in. They, I guess, generate heat with these uh, advanced solar panels. And it turns the water into brine. Uh, an interesting liquid. <laughs> we get this liquid to go through here into this secondary one, which is a pain to make. Uh, and then that turns it into liquid lithium. And, well, liquid lithium is no good, so we've got to put them in these condensing traders. <laughs> it's a hard word to say. 
and we get some lithium. And then hopefully we can power a reactor of some sort. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing. Uh, there's going to be plenty more modded Minecraft content coming in the future. I hope you guys are enjoying this new uh, sort of format of the videos where there's more cut it, more cuts in it. Uh, which means the videos aren't necessarily shorter, but we're getting a lot more done, right? I, I'm able to do these big structures and you don't see me running back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Um, but you also get to see me actually build them, right? I don't just cut and come back with this structure built. I, I like to try and show you that I'm actually doing the things and I'm not just cheating them in. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's going good. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Today's episode, we decided to make use of this lithium that we were creating, and we put it to good use. We sent it through some solar neutron activators, and that gave us some tritium. Now this, on its own, I don't know, it looks pretty, it's green, but we needed to add some of this red stuff, some, uh, what's it called again? Deuterium. Now we get that from heavy water, which we pumped out of this infinite water source we have here. Wonderful. Uh, with that, we combine it together in this chemical infuser to get DT fuel. Now, what do we do with that? We power a reactor. Here it is. And how do we get the reactor up and running? Well, we need a big laser. So here's the big laser, and here's the moment of truth.